Oh, hey there. Oh, I didn't expect to see you guys here. No way. <laughs> ban Steve, is that right, Skija? How come? Why would you ever want to ban Steve? He's so cool and funny. Because all the top players said so. And thinking for yourself is whack. Nobody wants to do that. I watched a Larry Lur video on the tech. Is it actually a thing? It is. I don't know if it's hard to do. So I, I pulled up the tweet. We can look at it together in a second. Because I don't know. I don't know much about it. I just see everyone being like pretty upset about it. Do you have anything to do with the official tier list that came out a bit ago? No, I actually, I'm going to talk about that too. Because what the f*** even is this? The first thing I feel is upset when I see this. It's not an awful tier list, but like, holy sh Okay, I'd like to cite some sources, because I'm very interested. Because something about 71 top players participating in this survey, I was never contacted. That's a little odd. I know I'm a content creator, but I've never even heard of this happening. And I, I talk to a lot of top players. No one has even mentioned this. So I'd like to cite some sources. I want to see who actually filled this out. I don't think Little Mac's the second worst character, guys. I'm not gonna try. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I actually don't think Little Mac is that bad. But like, can we get some name drops here? Can we talk about it? Oh, here we go. There's the panelists. This dude, this dude's garbage. He's from my region. I don't really trust the buzz opinions. I haven't seen an opinion I trust so far. Are there names I don't know? I actually know most of the, I don't know who, who the f is. I don't know who Candle is. That's the only name that I should have, have never heard of. Yeah, I don't trust any of these opinions, brother. I thought it also said 71. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting more people. So this is the US. Very interesting. Very all untrustworthy opinions all around. Wouldn't listen to these guys talk about the game. Leo? I don't think Leo knows what he's talking about. This dude plays Violet. I kid, I kid. Surprisingly, I know most of the people. Oh, if we're going in Japan, I don't know a single gamer. And the one Australian. Shout out to Jay Dizzle. So the point is, I trust a single digit amount of these opinions. I don't trust this shit. It's kind of where I'm going with this. And this is the tier list, right? This is this is the problem. Oh, people actually do think Samus is better than Zero Shoot. And they'd be right. Yeah, I, so I haven't watched this. So for those of you who are out of the loop, and for those of you who don't know what's going on, there's currently a banned Steve controversy going on. It's taken over Twitter. It's taken over YouTube. It's taken over a lot of things. And it's a, it's a real serious topic that needs discussion because as we all know steve's very good he's very broken he was literally ranked number one in the official tier list that came out not too long ago um so he's capable of insane zero to deaths his camp game is ridiculously good and he doesn't really follow the same rules that any other smash character does so it, it's hard to talk about you come to my channel you watch my video without subscribing you better sub right now or else your whole family's kaput you feel me <laughs> Everyone's always talking about banning Steve, but this time they actually have like a real thing. So I'm gonna read this out loud. Have you seen the Steve hit stun canceling clips floating around? Hit stun canceling. You know what hit stun is? That's when you get hit. You can just cancel that, whatever. Sorry to burst your bubble. Introducing Phantom MLGs. Phantom, M I don't like the name of the tech. A variation of Steve's hit stun canceling tech. What, is it? what does MLG even stand for? Don't say Major League Gaming. Phantom block air. What even? Oh, uh, oh wait. It only works when you don't get sent into tumble. So the problem is that it works against multi hits too. Yeah, multi hits, single hits, all of it just doesn't. Dude, I watched him air. Do what in the world? I've watched this dude air dodge out of like Game and Watch Nair. That's crazy. I hate this. So now, so now. After this video, people are like, okay, do we actually ban Steve? I'm like, how easy is this tech to get? Like, do you have to go for this intentionally? Do you, can you just react and just start doing it? Like how, how applicable is this tech is kind of the first question that comes to mind. Hbox was able to do it. Oh, f yeah, that's, that's quite the bar, isn't it? I mean, it's what, I don't know. It's one thing to like know how to do it, but like, are you fishing for this? Sh are you getting hit on purpose like a bot? I think I draw the line as if like I f***ing fourth throw this dude and he just decides no and he's gonna minecart me. That's where I draw the line. But it doesn't seem to interact with throws like that, which is nice. They can just name tech whenever they want, dude. They're gonna start doing like the doo-doo slide stock cancel and that's when we're gonna have to finally ban him. Top players, before you call out Steve or the tech to be banned, please make sure you understand it. I don't wanna understand what I'm talking about. I just wanna get angry. 
Why do I have to understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, report. Oh, actually, it's perfect. I'll just report that. I need to answer questions. Who's this report for? Everyone. Everyone on Twitter. This is for the greater good boys. This <laughs> My goodness. This is fucking broken. Hey, to be fair, you're narrow. I think every top player has seen this. This has 3 million views. That's more than like any HBox video. You know what we should watch? Just, just to ruin our days a little bit more. Has this ever happened again or was this one time? They haven't replayed. Damn, this is a 10 minute set, he got farmed. So do we like actually feel bad if we ban the tech? Surely not, right? Majority of the Steve players are young kids in high school who have yet to like fully lock themselves into being like Smash players. If we can stop that from happening, that's the good ending. I th when do we draw the line too? Like at what point do we decide that the Steve tech is like too much? Banning Steve, but to advance greater education as a whole, nothing to do with the health of the game. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's very important that we do that. Like, we're, we're thinking of the future generation, the kids. It's very important. They already banned Steve in your region. Wait, in my region, they banned it? Wait. You do go into tumble when Byleth up Bs you. Imagine. Imagine Leo up Bs Steve. No way, he's dead. Oh my god. Imagine Leo up Bs a Steve player and he dies for it. That's what I want to see. Can you do it after Nair? I can't tell when Steve is in hit stun. That's the worst part. I don't know visually when Steve is in hit stun or not. So that's another one of those moments. Wait, so like Violet's landing Nair stuff won't work because that... No, it will. It doesn't always send into hit stun. Oh, but when it do. It's a little broken, dude. So it's not the same, you know? Like Greninja side being out of your moves in Smash 4 was like pretty broken. But it was on Greninja, so no one really cared. So like you can't even like bait this stuff is kind of how I'm feeling about it. Like... You've already committed to a move most of the time. So like you'd kind of just get punished. Like you could try to like fast fall out if you're hitting him like pretty high up. But like if you're doing combo starters from the ground, he could just be like, no. And then again, there's like, if he can do this, this fucking, if he can do this out of boost kick, uh-uh, Zerusu loses the matchup. Or I'm playing for time. I will play shamelessly for time if my boost kick doesn't work anymore. I think what sucks too is it's gonna be a while before people know, like before Steve players know how to like use it efficiently. Cause like, for example, what I'm thinking about doing right now is like, I'll Zare at, oh God, that was foul. I will Zare Steve as Zero Suit, not go for the combo and just like wait for like the minecart or something because they're all bots and they're going to minecart out of whatever you hit them with because that's how they work as human beings. Wait, it works against Kazuya's Wind God Fist? Oh dear. Why? <laughs> Why is it like that? Nice down tilt, you bum. You're dead? I think what frustrates a lot of players about Ultimate's meta is the skewed risk versus reward. Part of what's frustrating about playing against Steve is that he can just walk at you with up tilt and it's like mostly safe. He can just walk at you with jab and then walk backwards and it's like usually safe. Minecart is so hard to punish. Juggling him is so risky because like the existence of down air and being able to place blocks to refresh his resources and stuff. So like, it's not a balanced risk versus reward. And like, that's the same thing with Kazuya, right? Now Steve is adding more layers of bull where like the few neutral interactions that you are managed to like squeeze out against Steve, it's going to be so much more like meaningless because you don't get your full combo or like your multi hit just won't work. You know what I mean? So that's why people are like, we should ban Steve. This is ridiculous. It's already hard to hit this character as is. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel any sympathy for banning Steve. I don't care that Steve players have been working for the last like two years to unveil all this broken, you shouldn't have showed anybody. You played that very poorly, Steve players. You should have kept that tech to your little Discord or something. You should not be telling people about your game breaking tech on your broken character because people are gonna start banning you. Like, talking about banning Steve has always been a thing and then you decided to like do that in like, wh why did you tweet that? Why did you think that was a good idea? I love talking to like other fighting game players about the Smash scene. I don't get to talk to adults in the Smash scene. I really don't. It's crazy. You're the old man at the Smash tournament, which is crazy because I'm 24. I will never forget. I went to the Gimvitational and they did Boomers versus Zoomers and I was on Team Boomers. I was on Team Boomers. I'm 24. <laughs> I was on the same team as Larry. How old is Larry Lur? 
32! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think Smash players definitely lean like perfectionist, and like when they lose their like minus twos, they feel bad about it. I've talked to like Guilty Gear Strive players after they play like their character's worst matchup, and they're like, yeah, that happens. All right, so uh, what we're going to be watching is uh, some Steve gameplay. Yeah! We all love it, right? I mean, we're just gonna be kind of talking over it. We'll be interacting with chat, but I want to know: Is banning Steve still the move? What do we think? We'll see. I mean, He's again, you mentioned positively broken, right? Look, I, oh, this is a perfect example. 43 damage. Nice. I don't know what the rules were for LTC if uh, that the game breaking tech was banned or not. Like she's really not the type of character that you would call Oh my god. Rush down, but yeah. This character is preposterous. I wish he wasn't so heavy. The best argument to be made about banning Steve and against banning Steve are kind of the same. I don't know, like, I don't really... Ooh, snipe. These turnips are hitting. Man, this smoothing, my goodness. He's got no iron. Doesn't matter. Oh, he's got a bomb. He, just, he immediately doesn't want it. Uh, kind of what I was saying earlier, though. Like, should we ban him just because he's the best? Or is he, like, actually so unfairly the best that he's got to go? Where do we draw the line between, like, unacceptable, right? Where, where, where does a character become unacceptable? He has insane risk versus reward. He has touch of death combos. And he's only going to get better as time goes on, right? Because you can look at Steve now and be like, oh, like, his results are really good. But they're not, like, the best. Like, history-wise, I think Joker's is the best, but he no one ever said to ban Joker. Because they we, we knew. Top players knew. They did say ban Joker. No top players did. The only people who wanted Joker banned were, like, spectators who were sick of MKLeo winning. But, like, now we have actual pros saying that Steve's got to go. Oh, my God, dude. Look how many hitboxes he can just throw out. Jeez, that entire sequence was preposterous. He, like... Look at how many hitboxes are being covered here. Like, in one second, we have this minecart coming down. Next second, jab over here in case you jumped, and he's falling down if you tried to contest him. And also, ooh, up tilt. Reverse up tilt, by the way, so it hits mad early. Uh, you can't jump out of shield here, so you have to immediately disengage. He shields anticipating, like, an air out of shield, a back air of shield or something, so he buffers this back air. And you can't punish it, and he's doing another move that is extremely hard to contest, and you really, you'd have to be pre-positioned, but you're already in a scramble, and you're trying to disengage in any scramble with Steve. Another back air, because there was no end lag on the first one in the first place. Also a broken move. There is no best option. You just got cooked. Like, you got you got out-charactered. Pick a better uh, situation to engage in. Okay, we're gonna get some damage here, a little bit of an over Oh, he tried to cheese. He was gonna do that, like, nair down till up yeah. or something. Do we ban Steve based on his potential or based on what's happening on the ground of results? No different in results since PMLG. Yeah, I don't, like, I, you could just ban the tech and it's fine. The only problem with banning the tech, which I guess makes it not fine, is that it's really hard to tell when they do it. Steve wasn't annoying, people would have no issue with him. That's honestly true. He's, uh, like, unfortunate for two reasons. Because he's really boring to watch and he's really frustrating to play against. You know? <laughs> Which is why I think it's grounds for, like, another argument for banning him. Is, like, longevity of the game. Like, people are... I think people will always play regardless. But, like, love for the game will die. Viewership for the game will die. Like, top players will, like... You know, become less interested and start to fall out. These are inevitabilities, but it'll be accelerated by Steve. Is that, you know, is that worth considering when talking about a ban for him? The fact that he's just straight up not good for the life of the game. I think that's the strongest argument against him. I think viewership is a good argument considering Zachary versus Nicole was the highest watched set in a long time. That's for a different reason, though. That's because Zachary was already an established, like, top player against New Blood. That. That infatuation only happens one time. If you have another Zack Ray versus a Cola set, like, it won't do nearly as well. Yeah, that's an interesting take, Kem Dizzle. Even if Steve isn't literally killing the game, he, along with the rest of Fighter Pass 2, ensured that the game will probably become irrelevant the millisecond Smash 6 comes out. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's kind of what happened with 4, right? Wow, that up Smash was funny. People immediately hopped off Smash 4 and just never touched it again except at SmashCon. I'm not like trying to use- did he just up be out of shield with Peach? What a god. 
So Mute is seeing something that I don't see, and I'm impressed. Y'all okay? see the movement with Mute? Look at the toes. Hold up. Yeah, but, yeah, that, <laughs> cool. but, uh, that was funny. Oh, oh yeah, you lose. Ouch. If viewership is at risk, we should ban Sonic and Game & Watch. The thing about that is like, viewership isn't the only part of the argument, Carmelo. That's kind of the issue I'm taking with your, your side. I don't think Steve is like killing viewership to be honest like there's still like the majors that like Steve is still like top 80 and like are still popping off That's why I'm saying just like health for the game. I guess I don't, I don't know player morale matters as much as viewership No, no, I think player more there would be nothing to view without the players I think one of those is a little bit more important I really do be rooting against Steve though I guess one thing that Steve does have that's good for him is that he's got like kind of the villain complex, right? I think it's important to also have characters to hate, but unfortunately, he's also hate-worthy and broken. Wow, actual tiger. That was a very uh, intelligent sentence you just said. I'm going to read it out loud. Win rates for people increasing precipitously. Yep, that's a word. Upon picking up Steve, I don't think it's coincidental. That mixed in with the viewership arguments, etc. Individual points on their own shouldn't be enough, but it's a multitude of flags lumped together. Yeah, I don't think it's bad that, like... Steve carries players, right? I'm just gonna come out and say it instead of walking around it. But like, I, I don't, I don't like that being used as an argument for like why we should ban him. Because like, truthfully, at the end of the day, we could all just pick Steve. But if we did that, the game would definitely die. We would all be the villains. It sucks because players don't want to play against Steve. Players don't want to play Steve. Play people don't want to watch Steve. But if you want to win, you play Steve. It's a hellish cycle. If everyone's a villain, there is no villain. No, that's not true. The villain in this case is uh, or the 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 villain's goal. I don't know. Just it would kill. It would actually kill the game. No one would love it. No one would watch it. What is going on? Why is mute winning now? I haven't really been paying attention. Oh, Not the bomb. He never uses that. <laughs> Sonics versus Myron or the Buzz versus a Cola. What are you watching? <laughs> At least if I watch like Sonics versus Myron, I can make fun of like Myron in a fun way. Don't get me wrong. I actually love Myron. He's actually a really good guy. But like, it's Olivar, and he calls him he, the, the purple flash thing in his Twitter bio. Kills me. I love that. Yeah, the Myron zone. Exactly, bro. Wait, you're, you're wrong for that one. You answered incorrectly. The buzz makes lame sets fun. I don't know why. You part of the paint watching club, dude? Do they send the, the paint to you to taste test before they send it out? How did this devolve into talking about the buzz? Should Steve still be banned is the question. I, I'll talk through it a little smoother. I think the boat that top players are in are like, we don't care if he's banned, but we're not gonna complain if he does. I think that's where most people sit. I'm not gonna sit here and advocate like I'm not gonna go to a tournament if Steve isn't banned. Because we go for the love of the game. It's just like frustrating for like mental health purposes. Like, why the f do I have to play against Steve? I wish I didn't. And I, I think mo oh my god, he should yeah he should have died for that actually. I think most players are also they blame themselves a lot. To a fault, in my opinion. Most players are like, I could just get better and beat Steve, right? And at the end of the day, that is kind of true. But also, the uphill battle is insanely unfair. They know that, but like, it, this is a, this is what I like to call uh, a self-improvement sport. You always look inward to become a better player and not like blame other parts. Like, you, you don't blame the game, really. Honest question, would you complain if other characters that are perceived as less overtuned were ever banned? He just are overtuned and hated because no one calls for a ban? Wait, wait, what? I think Aegis, I mean, honestly, Loki, I still think Aegis is the best character in the game. I think that character is stupid, but I think, like, banning Rob is dumb. Is banning Kazuya dumb? No, I don't think it's completely out of the realm of possibility. I don't think it'll ever happen. I think it's, like, less deserved than a Steve ban. I would stop viewing ultimate as a spectator because I don't like excessive frequent character picks. Like you mean just like seeing the same character multiple times in the same top eight. I think, I don't hate it. Cause think about like, how cool would it have been if like halfway through Leo being the best like Joker in the world, someone else got nasty at Joker. Like Tweak just picked up Joker. 
or like I don't know like Nairo for example and like you would occasionally get to see like an extremely top level Joker duo like that's that's pleasant once you start putting three in the mix then it gets a little stupid but I feel like there's never been more than like two Steves in a relevant top eight but no one wants to watch a Steve duo is it weird that Joker never got up there at all besides Leo I'm telling you, it's because Joker's hard to play. Regard, like I know, we watched that Mute Ace video, and he says that Joker's like easier to play. I don't think that's true. I actually disagree with you there. I do think that he's a high mate in his character. Oh my goodness! Wait, this is game five, and he's getting cooked. What happened? How is he staying alive? Dude, how can you have someone this scared? Bro doesn't even have any out of shield kill options. Except for like footstool out of shield down air. And Mute is the one that's cornered here. This may end up being a three stock. And Syrup is the one just chilling in the shield. I think CSS actually does pretty well against Steve too, so and even then it's still so losable. Like you get comboed once and you're at kill percent. It's like it's like a winning matchup with a with an asterisk. I can do it, still do it. I got it. Oh. We are on last stop. Surely he's dead. Of course not. Alright guys, well if Steve loses this set, he shouldn't be banned, right? Because he's not that good. Why don't we watch and see what happens? The verdict, the introduction of the tech didn't change anything. I thought he was should have been banned even with like how overtuned his kid is. That's how I feel. Characters uh, stupid. Do I think majors that have Steve banned should be weighted the same as the ones without? That's a good question, actually. Uh, my initial thing is no. Like, I don't think they should be weighed the same if not everyone is allowed to, like, play, basically. It's kind of how I look at it. I mean, like, Steve players are still allowed to, like, enter, but still. I'm void streaming right now about this. Is he still talking about it? I'm about to call him. Hold up. Five minutes later. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Hello. What's going on, big guy? What up? Uh, nothing. Chilling. Uh, I nice. heard you read my stream title, and uh, I, didn't read I understand your you're on the back foot, and uh, it was just memes, I swear. So, I mean, I only just saw people talking about this today, the whole uh -huh. band Steve thing. The first thing I want to talk, I don't know what you've talked about, I just saw that you were talking about it like an hour ago. You've been talking yeah. this whole time? A whole hour? Uh, about here and there. Not too much about the band itself. Okay, okay. Just like quick uh, field I, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If a tournament has Steve banned, I don't think it should be weighted the same as a typical major. Okay. In terms of rankings. Well, I agree with you at first, but I'm curious as to what other communities would do. Like, do you mean like other FGCs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like generally they would have it be a little more uh, standard, I think is the word I'm looking for. So they wouldn't follow what we're saying? They would just be like, F it, one, one rankings? Uh, no, no, no. I think that if they were to ban somebody, it would be happen at more than just like a handful of tournaments. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of how I feel like other communities would handle it. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. I, I hate always kind of touching back on this topic once every three months where Smash needs a unified rule set. Yeah. Yeah, not having a unified rule set sucks because if it was just like, oh, everything, everything Steve related is banned for like six months or something, then I would be like, sure, whatever. Just everything's weighted the same because that would just be the easy way to do it. However, that's mm -hmm. never going to happen because I, I literally don't know. <laughs> I wish I understood why there wasn't a unified rule set <laughs> or why people want to be unique and be like, yeah, WarioWare is legal and hazards mm -hmm. are on. So, yeah. Whatever. A, a conversation that's happened 50,000 times. I wanted to mention, did you see, like, the bunch of people that, uh, like, before, during, and after Shine were just like, I dropped out of the tournament because ah, I don't want to play against Steve, or... Yeah, I, uh, I brought up, uh, <laughs> Ling. Ling ended up doing that. Yeah, like... So that was, that was one of my examples of people who don't want to enter, like, Steve unbanned tournaments. I could not think of like a way to vocalize why I feel this way, but I think that is super big <laughs> made. Like I can't, like, like I understand the frustration, right? I dislike Steve, I think he's overtuned, and obviously anyone with a brain thinks he's insanely broken. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's my inner abused Nintendo loving competitor brain. I just think they're cowards. <laughs> they just shouldn't, like, it shouldn't bring them to the point of wanting to quit. Yeah. Uh, on my completely unfiltered 
uh, opinion. I think... If you come to my channel, you watch my video without subscribing, you better sub right now or else your whole family's kaput, you feel me? <laughs> Most of the people who want Steve banned or who aren't competing because of that are either... The people who want Steve banned are bullies, for the most part, or babies. Bullies or babies? Yeah, I feel like usually you're one or the other. I'm trying to think of more excuses, like more bullies, but I, I see more babies than anything else. I, I do see a lot of babies, but the bullies are more so like, we're gonna ban Steve and we don't care what the Steves think. Yeah. <laughs> and usually they don't have like a sound argument either. Usually coupled with- It's like, yeah, we don't, we don't care about what the Steves think. Why should we? Yeah. It's, you know? It's usually coupled with like, let's see them do good. Like they would never do good with another character. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, neither would you, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of the examples I brought up earlier was like, dude, if Bowser Jr. was banned, <laughs> like for no reason, dude, yeah. like, you know, the Bowser Juniors wouldn't be performing. But like, that's that's a whole like group of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think if you ask most top players, we'll give you kind of the same answer where we would never advocate for Steve being banned and we would never like protest any tournaments or really whatever. But if you ban Steve, no one's going to complain. Is kind of the thing. Like, mm -hmm. unless, it, unless it's you apparently, but. <laughs> That's the thing. Well, I just, dude, okay, okay. So regen, European major happened last weekend, right? Steve was banned. I don't know if they're going to weight it the same as another major, but the tournament already happened. So, you know, what if, like, suddenly, uh, they do decide, like, oh, yeah, we're not gonna weight the tournament the same as the, uh, Steve unbanned majors. But the people at Region didn't know this ahead of time, you know? Yeah, so that sucks. I feel like that, exactly, I think that just sucks. I think that sucks for people, uh, who do care about the rankings, uh, for one reason or another, that are going to tournaments. I, uh, I wanna, like, think of an argument more than just like rankings right like kind of like if you forced me to pick banning steve or no i would just say don't ban him like he's broken obviously but there has to be a best character in the game regardless mm -hmm. of how big the gap is and that's exactly how i feel yeah there's I going to be something ridiculous yeah, something broken like, and steve dude, he's the he's the best I don't, I don't think I don't think that <laughs> actually though but I, I, I personally don't think that there's a problem with having a best character and having a meta around the best character you know like sometimes you, you got to be able to keep up with the best character in order to like perform well in a tournament you know yeah like in so many different games I think I think Killjoy was the most picked this is a little bit of a tangent Killjoy was the most picked agent at VCT uh, imagine if they're like, yeah, let's just not play with Killjoy in the game. You know, like she's a little too over centralizing. Let's just let's just not play with Killjoy. But it's like she's just good, and people are just gonna pick her. Like you wanna you wanna fight the meta, fight the meta. <sighs> yeah, like it's definitely over centralized. I think every good region or every region has like one or two good. Steves. There's that, there's, they're around, yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, and I think that's kind of part of the problem that a lot of people have with Steve is that he's easy. Mm -hmm. That's they're they are everywhere. They're not everywhere at like the super duper top levels. But they're everywhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think that's the problem that most people have is that he sucks for viewership. He sucks like he just sucks to watch, he sucks to play against. Mm -hmm. Everything sucks about Steve, but at the end of the day, it's who do you want to make happy? Like the minority being the Steve players or the majority being literally everyone else. Yeah, that's the thing. I think like banning him, like, again, if a tournament has him banned, like I'm not gonna complain about it. Like I I'm ultimately not complaining about the fact that he's banned. I just don't know like where it stands on the rankings because I feel like that is a very big deal. Because yeah, again, like if I went to a Steve, I went to a Steve ban tournament, and then my wins didn't count as much because Steve was banned. I'd feel like I got wronged in some way, you know, if I didn't know ahead of time. It's kind of like you know typical rule sets. Like oh god, this tournament has Lilat, Alos, or yeah, Lilat. I think. Like some online tournaments have Lila. I entered an online tournament once and Castle Siege was legal. Oh, dude, you dude, know? dope. And I got counterfeit to Castle Siege and I lost. Whoa, I cannot tell you how many times I roll up to a tournament and I go, why is it three bands? Or why is FD a counterpick? This is weird. Yep. Is this full DSR? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'll be in top eight of a major. I'll be playing against like light 
<laughs> or something. I'll, I'll look over to like one of the TOs. I'm like, yo, is there DSR? Because no one fucking knows. We just assume yeah. it's two bands we, DSR. Uh, we, all, we all have no idea. Yeah, we just, we just show up. Like, you, you could say shame on us, but like, you're right. <laughs> there you're is no right. butt, you're, you're right. right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, like what you were touching on, like if the tournament matters as much, like there's also no way to like know if you would even play against a Steve. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It changes the whole bracket, like the entire bracket. You remember Paris almost lost to that random Steve at SmashCon? Yeah. That would never happen. And that, that's, that's like round one pools. <laughs> so like, I think obviously the biggest part about it is like, the character super broken, which I think most top players don't mind. Mm -hmm. I think what a lot of top players aren't ready for, and it's been talked about among top players too, where the meta is now absolutely shifting towards you need multiple characters to play this game. You mm -hmm. can't just be like a one trick. It's very hard. Yeah. If you look at all of like the top eighters, they all at least have like two characters except for the Steve players. Yeah, some but type like, of a counter pick. Yeah, but like top players don't want to conform to the meta where they need to play two characters. Because that mm -hmm. also means I, they need to uh, put more time into the game, which not a lot of people do. Yeah, I'm still on the same. Like I, I, I tell everyone, I'm like, if I was competing a lot right now, I'd play Cloud. I have, I have a one in like five set count against Steve. That's pretty bad. <laughs> the one Steve I beat, I immediately lost to another one afterwards. GG's dumbass. Like, should have yeah, played Cloud. I, I was like, damn, I got the matchup down. I did not. <laughs> damn, everyone's got to pick up Zero Suit, dude. Finally. Oh, yes, yes. It's my time. Oh, it's Henry's Henry's time. back, baby. He's better than ever. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I mean, no one's going to pick up Zero Suit. That character sucks. Uh, uh, oh, don't tell me, dude. How many? How much longer uh, does not, it need to be no not results? If I play on, not if I play online. Oh, you're going to play well, online That's, that's the suit. one thing. No, yeah, that's the one thing why I stopped picking her up. I was like, I'm not going to play this character online. Yeah. Like, I I hate playing Joker in Zero Suit more than I hate playing Sheik online. Damn. Yeah. See, chat. Like, you hear that? That's so, why I don't want to play so Zero Suit. so bad online. You know what I low key feel bad for, and this is a like a sidetrack kind of thing. Is like, imagine being we'll we'll say like Moist, like Moist, uh -huh. like uh, like Charlie, Kurt, Moist Critical. Mm -hmm. Imagine just dumping money into this game that you love, right? Because this is purely a passion project for him, and then yeah, like, you see Steve. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like Sonic, and you have to watch your players just play against that shit, and you have to like, you don't have to watch it, but like, that's most of the reason you dump money into the Smash scene, so that you could like, watch the little guys be funny and make a video out of it. Yeah, yeah. And like, he's super invested too. But yeah, there there are times where it's just like, oh man, we have to fight this matchup again? Woo! Ooh. Okay, uh, what do you think about a poll? deciding whether Steve will be banned or not at LMBM 2024. That's stupid. Like a public poll, like on Twitter? Well, I think they did Twitter at first, but they changed it to Google Forms. Uh, dude, that's the same thing, basically. It's just extra steps, so like the eight-year-olds won't take them. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, imagine if that happened. Uh, dude, don't make me boot up Twitter. Don't, don't boot up Twitter. Dude, don't make me don't boot, boot up Twitter. Twitter. Don't, don't boot up Twitter, don't boot up Twitter. Thank you. What you can boot up is I'm going to send you an image of the tweet that I'm going to make. <laughs> I want to know what you feel about that. Sure, let's see it. Uh, that's an agreeable tweet. That gets a like from me. Maybe even a retweet if I'm feeling nice. Ooh, we got the Mars approval. I'm yeah. going to send it. I'm going to send it sooner than later. I mean, yeah, like if there are going to be like a mismatch of tournaments. It's already weird that there are tournaments that have different stage lists that are weighted the same but i agree i agree but yeah. i think i think it is a little less negligible yeah. or a little more like ignorable than yeah, like, the whole yeah, character yeah. ban okay because roy 10 says i'm excluding the fact that they did it based off of people who attend lmbm what does that wait what does that mean wait say that again the poll excluding people that like he wants to exclude people that are going to the tournament no no no, no, no. He, he did it with based off people who are going to the tournament I don't think it changes my opinion. Oh, obviously they're all gonna say ban that. Shit. They don't want to lose to it. Like, would you I, would, would you ask the general public about like changing the rules of football? Like, <laughs> this is how the, I feel. Uh, it's the dumbest shit ever. Like, ask the professionals, and it doesn't have to just be like the professional players. It could be like the tos that are like you know integrated in the scene for a long time. 
or like like just long time veteran community members that like genuinely have mm -hmm. you know best interests in mind. Like, I'm trying to explain to people I've lost it, I've lost tournament sets because I lost rock paper scissors. Yeah, because of the stage so, list. <laughs> yeah, so like I think my opinion is a little more like experienced, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I think asking like the. Uh, let's say like ranked players going to your tournament or like the top 32 seeds uh what they think i think that's pretty good i think asking everybody is a little different yeah i think the, only the public is also comp the public's competing with the professionals sure but i don't think that means that they their opinion holds the same value when it comes to the rule sets of the tournament bro i hate people that say that shit, that like spectators opinions matter just as much as the players and it's like you're sitting at home i paid thousands of dollars to be here <laughs> Maybe not thousands, but you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, depending on where you're going. <laughs> oh, I was saying, I like the idea of having, like, like if you're PGR, you qualify for, like, <clears throat> like being a part of, like, the panelist that, like, makes the unified rule set or whatever. And it's just completely optional. Because, like, dude, if I'm going to be honest, sure, Light's a professional, but his opinion is <laughs> He's a dumbass. I don't, I don't I was, think he knows anything. <laughs> I was also saying that, where it's like, I don't value every top player's opinion the oh, same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. But he gets his say because, you know, he has his place in the community. Yes, 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 yes. I, I asked him how he feels, too, and I definitely did not agree with <laughs> what he said. Well, God, do I, do I ask? Do you remember? Uh, I do remember. I do remember. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, the general idea is he thinks this is fine <laughs> because it doesn't it causes less problems if it's fine. What is that like? Like, like it's done. He thinks it's just the 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 controversy's over if Steve's banned. Like he thinks it's the solution. Uh, something like that. Okay, I can infer. Let EE -E decide. Yeah, I actually agree. I think EE -E should. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. He should make all the rules. I whisper. I whisper in his ear as he falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's topics of conversation. I remember, like at the end of Smash Four, they were like, "This time for sure, guys, we'll get a unified rule set." And then yeah, and then like, no one. Dude, I was complaining in the kitchen earlier with Charles and EE. -E. I was like, "Dude, there's no way we fucked up again." And uh, Charles started saying that. He uh, he was like, dude, I'm gonna start talking about rule sets right now because there's no way we're messing up for the next Smash game. <laughs> no, we're gonna. <laughs> I have zero faith in like what any like structural integrity. I think is the the words I'm looking for here. But there is gonna be no body of Smash. There's yeah, no one who just I feel makes. Like the it rules. keeps getting worse. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like somehow, somehow it keeps getting worse. Well. That was me avoid talking about the uh, absolute shambling state of the Smash community right now. And for the fifth time, uh, probably in the last two years, uh, the conversation comes up again of should we ban Steve or not. But now, so, you know, uh, there have been tournaments that have banned Steve before, but now we're talking about it. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to us speak. And uh, thank you, Void, for being here with me today. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate your time, man. You have a good rest of your day. I saw this and I was curious as to like what your guys' thoughts are. It's about Steve and it's about the rule set and about the, the Luma rank. People were talking about like legalizing or banning Steve and whether or not those tournaments should count the same for the rankings. Uh, that's what this tweet is about. I actually haven't even read it all the way through yet. I don't know. Yeah, this is a lot of words. I'm not excited to read all these words. Last time you heard from us regarding this topic, we said we would be back early October with a decision. Apologies for the delay as the process took longer than expected. Steve Van events will be counted for the 2024 season and will be weighed the same as Steve legal events. Here's how we got to this decision. I have like two very specific thought processes with like Steve Van tournaments. I think it's dumb. Not everyone and all the top players are going to be there. And can you really consider yourself like one of the best players in the world if you don't beat all the really good players? You know what I mean? Like on a personal level, are you okay with that? Like a cola, the best player in the world because his character is banned are you really the best player in the world you get what i mean and maybe this is kind of a stretch you guys can tell me how you feel about it we already go to a bunch of tournaments where the rule sets are not the same and i'm talking about the stages there's so many tournaments where it's like 
three bands or two bands or Lilat's here or Yoshi Stories here now. You know what I mean? Like seven minutes versus eight minute timers, stuff like that. We already play in an environment where like the rules are not always the same and we count them all the same. However, can you weigh that the same as like a Steve Van Turner? Like different rule set, like in terms of stage and time, an entire character's band, you know what I mean? Like. It looks like this, you know? Having a universal stage list would be way doper than a Steve band. I feel like we just need to like talk about stages first, but I have a video with Void about that that I had talked about back then. But let's continue reading. We invited numerous top players and CEOs to a private Discord. How come I wasn't invited to this? I didn't get a say. Are you kidding me? To be fair, I don't even think, I, I think I would have ignored them. I think I would have just been like, you're good. My top player is now a full-time content creator. All right, I have, a, I have a better opinion than probably most people in that. Anyway, okay, to a private discord to discuss the current handling of these events and Steve in general. After the discussion phase, a panel of 50 head TOs was formed. The representation from scenes across the globe. The Luma rank team itself had no say in the voting process. All votes were solely from the TOs. We adopted a similar voting system. Who? That's that Lord of the Rings character, right? Smogon? This is definitely like a D's nuts layout. Smoke on these nuts. We adopted a similar voting system Smoke on has used before with two phases of voting. With phase one, with first, the first phase, sorry guys, I'm low key dyslexic. First phase had numerous statements the TOs voted on regarding how much they agree or disagree with said statement. These statements were an even mix regarding pro legal, pro ban, and coexistence stances and any above a 60% majority of agreement would move on to the final round. Both should count and full global stance on Steve Legality faced off in the final round with both should count winning the final vote. Both legal and banned events being weighted the same was the most popular option during voting on how to handle tiering these events. Due to the ever-changing meta and how close in number the final vote turned out, we will be revisiting this decision and reconvening the panel in March 2024 to determine the stance of Season 2. More time and a system in place. We are hoping to have a stance regarding the future out earlier for you all 2024 Season 2. Why would a TL willingly vote for their tournament to be weighted less? Yeah, that's kind of how I felt about that. that. That's my first thing, right? Is that like even with all the TLs, it's still a kind of biased standpoint. And even if you take the player's side, it's still a biased standpoint. And if you take the spectator's side, it's still a biased standpoint. No matter how you run this poll, it's always gonna be biased. It's kind of the thing. I, I don't know, who, who would you value more? Who's, whose opinion would you value more? The TO who wants their tournament to be weighed more so that they can convince top players to fly out or the player who doesn't wanna play against Steve so that he can be ranked higher. You know, there's personal gain on both ends. It's hard to say which opinion you should value more. Since the, the the core of the issue is banning Steve or not, I feel like top players' opinions should be taken more seriously than a TO's, right? Because they're the literal professionals when it comes to this stuff. That, that's my opinion. I don't think it's by like a huge margin or anything. I think we should consider both. Dad Cloud agrees, guys. That's it, that's the whole video. Bye. We really do need just one person to have total control. I'm so down at this point. Any form of unity, I'll take at this point. I refuse to believe that we're ever gonna have any form of unified rule set. Not in the next Smash game, not in the one after that. I don't even know who to blame. Uh, TOs? TOs just wanna be quirky and unique? I, I think I also naturally wanna lean more towards like counting tournaments that don't ban Steve because that's what we've been doing this whole time. It's what we've done since Smash 4. We've never banned a character, you know? Like globally banned a character or anything. I think, um, I don't know. I, I don't think it should count for the global ring. I think it's dumb. Say, okay, say we go through both tournaments count the same. There's like 10 tournaments. Half of them are Steve legal, half of them are not. Cola wins all the Steve legal ones. And then Spargo wins all the Steve illegal ones. But Spargo would get ranked higher because more people went to one rather than the other. Or actually, no, I think the other, the alternative would be true because more people would probably go to the one that Steve's not banned at because there's one more top 10 player there. If you're a Cola and you don't go to the tournaments that have Steve banned, you're it actually, it actively hurts your rankings. Sounds perfect. The rankings would be so confusing. That's what I'm talking about. It's just so dumb. We're gonna count them all the time. Are you in that Discord? Nope. Maybe because they know my opinion. Maybe they want Steve banned so that their players can do better. See, now we're playing the long game. Oh, maybe Luminosity's gonna ban, they're gonna count them the same so that their players start doing better at tournaments and their players are ranked higher so they can get more sponsors and I can get more subs. Subscribe to the channel today. Would you rather the entirety of NA ban Steve 
than this divide. I am definitely of the opinion that if we're gonna ban, like, there, there's one or the other. It is black and white. You either have all events banned or no events banned. And if you can't reach that, like, in between, then, like, as the rankings, you have to be like, your tournaments don't count and your tournaments do. Because, it, like, having this mismatch is just stupid. If a majority of events are Steve banned, Akola, the actual best player in the world, will not be ranked the best in the world. Because he can't go to all the tournaments! If we kind of, like, we, we just remove the scope of Smash Brothers and look at something completely different. If this was, like, imagine if this was Street Fighter and people were like, oh, we need to ban Ken. He's broken. He's ridiculous. He's overpowered. There's nothing we could do about it. The top players, all of, like, the, the, the top Ken players would be like, yeah. Ken is broken. Ken is banned. I'm picking up another character. Like Capcom, for example, they'll see that Ken is banned and they're like, oh, word? We're gonna fix him. Because we don't want like our character to be banned. Yeah, I mean, I think because it's specifically Nintendo, they might not touch the game. I think if we banned him off rip, maybe. That That's my whole take on it. I think that it's really dumb that now Steve banned and Steve unbanned events, they're gonna count the same. It's, it's just not. The, the next, like the season one Luma rank rankings are gonna be kind of skewed this way. And I don't even think there's a lot of tournaments that have Steve banned, which is good. I think it's like, let's make moves and like, maybe, maybe that's it. That's the only one I really know. There's probably more. So it won't affect too much, but the fact that that's even a thing is dumb. We shouldn't, I think, I think the, the main takeaway here is they shouldn't count the same. And we need to ask players, not just TOs and not just TOs that Luma rank picks. <laughs> like I said, regardless, there's going to be some bias no matter which source you take from. So take what you can get that's my whole rant what do you guys think in the comments should steve ban tournaments and steve not ban tournaments count the same comment below while you're down there like comment subscribe ding the bell oh i'm such a youtuber guys wow